Alright guys, um, this is the third take, um, but how's it going? It is, um, Monday night, August 9th, 2021, at 11.03 p.m. And if you can't tell, it's kind of thundering outside, so that's good. I like thunderstorms, not when it gets, like, too loud or whatever, you know what I mean? But yeah, and I hope it rains soon, because we have, well, it rained earlier today, but, and a couple days ago too, but we need more than that, in my opinion, because I like the rain. But yeah, um, so you can already tell this, um, I have it on a piece of paper of things I hate. I'm finally doing it. woo Yeah. But, you guys are in the for a treat. So I got 12 things on this piece of paper of things I hate. Um, there, I don't know, there might be a part two to this because, um, I'm using the camera app on my phone right now and sometimes, um... It doesn't record like after like half an hour or whatever. But yeah. I'm gonna try and make this as short as possible, but yeah. And also do it might might do a video of things I like also, so be prepared for that too someday. Um Alright, things I hate. Number one, rude people. Oh my god. Where do I even start with rude people? Oh my god. Just one people these type of people I cannot stand on this planet. And I'll show you some examples. One example, when they when I hold a door for someone, they don't say thank you. It's like, what the fuck? I'm doing something nice for you. You don't even appreciate it? That's for you. That is for you. That's what I would give them. Um, so come on, that's rude. You know, when someone holds a door for me, I just say thank you. Like, thank you. Yeah, it's like, come on. Another example, when someone farts in public, oh my god, I cannot stand that. Now, don't get me wrong, we all shit ourselves, but, um, well, not, like, at not sharding, you know what I mean. But, yeah, not, not actually sharding in your pants, but, you know what I mean. Um, you know, when someone says, like, shit themselves, that's another word for, like, did you fart? That's how I am. But yeah, like when I go to pu in public place or whatever and someone like silently lets one rip. It's like, God, I don't want to smell your shit. It's disgusting. But yeah, like go do that in private. And it's worse when you're at, at a restaurant or whatever. When you're at a restaurant, you silently fart and you smell it. And while you're in the middle of eating or drinking something. And all of a sudden you smell it. like... <coughs> God, you're going to throw up for thinking about that. But yeah. So like, come on, people are trying to eat. You know, and when you smell a fart, you feel like the smell gets in your food or whatever and drinks. Oh my god, that's the worst. <laughs> oh my god. And it just makes you lose your appetite. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm just thinking of something funny in the past. You know me. But yeah, what's another example? Oh, when, um... When I'm accidentally in someone's way and they say move instead of excuse me. Oh my god, I can't stand that shit. Like, I'm in someone's way and they say move. It's like, fuck you. It's in your way. Big fucking deal. You know? Or when they say excuse me but with an attitude. Oh my god, that's another thing I hate. It's like, okay, if you're gonna be a dick about it, just go around me. Plain and simple. You don't have to... Like, say, like, you don't need me to get out of your way. Or, or when they say get out of your way, that's another thing I hate. You know? It's like, god damn. You don't have to be a fucking dick about it. Just go around me then. The whole world doesn't have to move for you, you know? But yeah. Another thing I hate. School. Oh my god. Don't get me started on school. I'm so glad I graduated from those shitholes. Elementary, junior high, and high school. Oh my god. Worse, someone made a comment on the WDC96 uh, comment section, I think, on um, what school stands for. Seven crappy hours of our lives. And I had to give him credit for that because that was fucking hilarious. I forgot who it was, but I'm not t taking credit. Give, I'm giving him the credit. But yeah. Oh my god, just some of the, obviously stupid people there, um, you know, I dealt with rude people at school too, um, my main thing I hate is the stupid subjects or whatever, 
like math, science, English, um, gym, yeah, you name it. You know, all that shit's boring and half the shit we don't even need in life, you know? But yeah, it's just annoying. It's so damn hard and half of the shit doesn't even make any sense. Well, it does somewhat, but like, okay. You know? But yeah, it's just annoying. I also hate, also like rude teachers too. Um, shockingly, my high school, I never really dealt with them. But elementary school, middle school, I did. So yeah. Um, don't, don't really have that much to say about school, but that's just the, what I covered. Um, number three, stupid drivers on the road. Oh my fuck. I hate stupid drivers on the road. Like, you're driving, like I'm driving with my mom, my dad, my uncle, my granddad. And all of a sudden we see someone like cut us off or whatever. It's like, God damn. It's like, fuck you, piece of shit. Or when they're driving like under the speed limit or whatever. Like, oh my God, like we're driving like at a normal pace. Like, for example, the speed limit's like 60 or whatever. We're driving at 60. But this jackass in front of us is driving like 20. It's like, fuck off. I, I get you don't want to get like a ticket or whatever, but come on. You go, go at 60 like everyone else for fuck's sakes. You know, that's just an example. Or, yeah, what other things? When they speed or whatever, don't get me wrong. Don't, what the fuck? Sorry, sorry. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me started on those two. I hate when people speed. You know, you're going to get a ticket and a fine. You asked for it, and that's your fault. Should, shouldn't break the rules on the road. Yeah, I can't... You know, it's amazing how, like, some people have a license or whatever. I mean, I don't drive, I don't have a license, so I shouldn't be talking, but come on. Even I know, know the rules better than half of these idiots on the road. Um, yeah. Number four, racism and sexism. Another stupid thing in life that exists, racism and sexism. It's like, we're all human for fuck's sakes. White, black, um, Indian... Uh, Mexican, Asian, whatever. Um, Aboriginal, it doesn't matter. We're all human for fuck's sake. We should all be getting along. It's 2021, and sadly, racism still exists. You know, it's like, god damn. You know, we're still, you know, people hating on, like, white people hating on black people, um, black people hating on white people. It's like, god damn, we're all human for god's sake. You know, like, it's not like the like old times anymore, like, what do you call, like, like, teen hundreds or whatever, you know what I mean. Like, what, like those, those are in the past. It's 2021, we should be getting along now. But no, racism still exists. It's just depressing. Um, sexism is also stupid. You know, so for example, like when men hate on women for really stupid reasons, or yeah, or even when women hate on men for also really stupid reasons. Oh, I can't stand that. But yeah, come on, we shall be getting along. It's 2021 for fuck's sakes. Um, number five, restaurants fucking up my order. Oh, don't get me started on this one. Like, sometimes when I go to, like, McDonald's, Tim Hortons, um, Burger King, whatever. And Burger King doesn't really fuck up my order. I don't go to Burger King that much. Mostly, like, McDonald's or whatever. And this is just, I'll, this is just an example. I go to, um, McDonald's. I order myself, like, uh, like, I'm with my family. We order, like, uh, 10-piece McNuggets, large fry, and, um, McFrappe or whatever. All right, and right, pull ahead and pay first window. Yeah, so I pay for our first window, like at the first window, and uh, we go to the second window to get our food, and we always check on it, and guess what they give us? They don't give us, like, McNuggets or fries or whatever. Either they give us a medium fry or a different, like, burger or whatever. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, learn how to listen for God's sake. You know? Take orders. That's what your job is. You know? God damn, it's annoying. Deal with this shit. It's like, come on. You know, we all make mistakes in life. I made some. But come on, man. 
just annoying. Sometimes we don't have time for that shit. You know? But yeah. Number six, anxiety. Now, this is something that I have to deal with um, all the time, and it sucks ass. You know? I, mean, I always had anxiety in my life, but it started getting worse in, like, late, like, like a few days after Christmas of 2020. And I got depressed over for some reason. I don't really want to go back. I don't want to tell you the reason, but... Yeah. It's nothing really bad, though. I don't know why I just got depressed for some re reason. I don't know why. But yeah. I just got anxiety for, like, over stupid reasons. I still get anxiety over stupid reasons today. You know, I got anxiety when I first started my job. Because I thought I was going to fuck up for sure. Yeah. But nope. Um, how am I liking my job? Actually pretty good. I'm actually enjoying it so far. You know, I hate um standing on my feet for like three and a half hours, like telling people where to go to park for the gold eyes game, but actually it's kinda worth it. It's worth it. Making money, yeah. You know, we all a lot of us dealt with an anxiety and it sucks ass. Yeah, I wish anxiety never existed. You know, it gets me all depressed and overthink shit, and yeah. Um, another thing. Um, what is it? You might not, probably not surprised. It's some all of us can all agree on. Ads. Don't get me started on ads. Every time I go on YouTube before a video, um, there's always an ad playing before the video. It's like, um, usually like a 15 second ad with no skip button, or a 5 second ad. Or sometimes a 15 second ad with a skip button. Um, I rarely get like 30 second ads. I don't think those are anymore. And what's worse, um, you know, people thought ads were back then like 2014 or whatever. It's just one ad. But, um, double ads. Ever since like a couple years ago, they started playing double ads. Like, fuck off. You know, one ad is enough. I mean, one ad is bad enough. And what's worse now... They're in every types of the videos. Like, I'm in the middle of watching a video. You know, I'm watching, like, a clip from an like, episode of Family Guy. And all of a sudden on the video, I see add in five, four. Oh, my God. Every time I do that, I just refresh it. Because I don't want to deal with ads. It's so annoying. Like, we just want to watch our video in peace. We don't want uh, you to show us your stupid products or whatever. We don't give a crap. Oh, and another ad I can't stand. These type of ads like Grammarly or whatever. Or like, hi, I'm Jason. And how my life uh, got turned around is because of this website. It's like, yeah, sorry to say, Jason, but we, I don't think anyone really cares about, like, like, like I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. It's just annoying, you know? So you can make a video about it, like, on your own on YouTube, but you don't have to advertise us that, you know? God damn. It's annoying. Now that was just an example. And they're usually for like five minutes long. It's like we don't want to watch an ad that long. And obviously because they have a skip button. Because they know no one's going to watch an ad that long. Which they have to be stupid if, they actually, if we actually want to, you know. And here's a, some weird ad um, I saw like a few years ago. It was like a 10 second ad of this. Um, I'm not trying to be racist. This um. Uh, there was like this um, black little kid or whatever. I think it was like like around two or whatever, or maybe three. It was just like doing some like weird dances or whatever. No company, no narration. Just like I think it's just like a mom recording it or whatever. Just cause obviously she thought it was cute. It's like what the fuck? That's not even an ad. I was like, what the? Like, that's just weird. That's dumb. Like you know. Um, I try to find that on YouTube. I don't I don't know what the title would be called, but no joke, I just saw something like that. I was like, okay, that's not really an ad. That's just for like a like uh here's my kid doing funny dances, you know? God damn. People are gonna be like, oh that's how they make their money. Yeah, well they should do it differently instead of shoving it down her throats. Alright, number eight. This might sound a little controversial, but the news. I can't stand the news, to be honest, because every time I... Here, I just want to make sure it's still recording. Okay, good. We're just 14 minutes in. Sweet! Um... Hold on. I don't trust. Sometimes I don't... I have trust issues. Okay, good, good. 
um, the news. I'm sick of going on the news, um, and seeing, like, like, I log on to Facebook or Twitter or whatever, and seeing, like, on Global News Winnipeg saying, oh, we have breaking news, um, two people got stabbed in downtown, you know? It's depressing, it's like, God, why do you have to kill other people, for God's sake? You know, I understand you might not like some other people, but, you know, because I do hate a lot of people myself, but, but I wouldn't murder them. Like, for God's sakes, that's the worst crime ever, you know? God damn. You know, you guys should know that. It's stupid. I'm sick of seeing it on the news. It's annoying. Yeah, I actually just unfollowed it because of that shit. It just gets annoying. I hate hearing about that shit. Um, what else? Um, oh, also in the news, um, my controversial, but when I talk about COVID all the time, it just gets so annoying. Like, oh, we have some new cases. Like, I get it. I don't want anyone to get COVID. And nobody wants to, but when you hear it on the news 24-7, it's just, it's just the media basically kicking a dead horse because we've been hearing that since March of 2020. It's actually annoying because I'm sick of hearing about it. I, it's true, guys. I'm not trying to sound like a dick or whatever. I'm actually sick and tired of hearing about COVID-19 on the internet all the freaking time when people talk about it. It's just so annoying. You know, I understand. Nobody wants to get sick. Nobody wants to get it. You know? Just It's just the media. People are just kicking a dead horse. You know? And it might sound controversial, but it's kind of true a little bit. Especially the media. It's the, mostly the media that's doing that shit. You know, um, but yeah, so yeah, the news sucks since 2020. Number nine, when businesses and, um, close down or gets remodeled. Now, um, I'm going to go on Google Maps to show everyone. Now, the reason I put that down is I hate when businesses either go out of business or they, like, close and move somewhere else. I can't stand that shit. And I hate when they remodel, too. And I'll show you an example. I am going to Lower Sackville, Nova Scotia. That's not where I used to live, but that's where my grandparents used to live. Alright, Halifax, Lower Sackville... Okay, I'm going to go to 2009. All right, I'll show you an example. I'll show you this Walmart that used to be here. So you guys see that abandoned building right there? Fuck off. Um, fuck off. So yeah. It's actually an old Walmart right here. Cause you can, if you can like look right here, it says Walmart. And you can see like the McDonald's right here. Yeah. You know, I think they closed down like around the time like we left for Winnipeg. Like maybe a couple years after that, and here's what it's now. What it's now. A here's a giant tiger. Uh God, I hate obstructed views. Good Life Fitness, Dollarama, and yeah. I think there's like, I don't know, what these stores are, but whatever. But yeah, I just hate that shit. And Made me sad, because I actually had some memories of going to that Walmart, you know? I actually had some good memories there. You know? It's just sad. And here's a superstar I used to go to, too. Like, with my grandparents when they lived there. I remember the, the um, super used to be red and the store used to be blue. I think that used to be, the Atlantic used to be blue as well. You know, I hate that shit. It's just depressing. I hate when they remodel, especially if it's been there your childhood, you know? But yeah. Nova Scotia. I really like this province. Um, but yeah, guys, I just hate this shit. And also when they, like, relocate. That Walmart um, that used to be there, I heard it's in, like, Bedford now. So at least it has a home, but you know, I wish it was still there, though, you know? What's another thing? Number 10. Videos with misleading titles. Oh, I cannot stand that. I mean, I will admit, sometimes my videos can be a little 
mis or titles can be a little misleading as well, but I don't know. I just it pisses me off. Like for an example, oh, building explosion. You know, it looks like because of a photo of a builder building exploding. And it's like, oh, this could be interesting. I want to see it. Maybe it'd be like a behind the scenes for like, like um, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like for an action film. But no, I click on it and it shows like this um fucking screamer or whatever the creepy ass face like ah! it's like oh my fuck scares the shit out of me you know it's like god damn you know why do you have to do that shit it's not funny you just scare the shit out of people you know god damn yeah you know I'm not talking shit about this user because I actually watch him a lot. His name is a uh, kid behind a camera. If you don't know who he is, he's basically the son of Angry Grandpa from YouTube. And he makes really good videos, but one thing I cannot stand is when he clickbaits click his videos. Like, I remember this one back in February. Um, I remember the original title. This is like at the day after Valentine's Day. Um, If you go to it now, it's called Bridget Ruins Valentine's Day with Michael... The thumbnail is basically Michael, like, stirring something or whatever, because they're making, like, chicken parm or whatever, something like that. And guess what the title was originally? Michael had a heart attack. I was like, holy shit. Well, but we'd be surprised if it's clickbait, and I was right. And it showed, uh, Michael, like, laying on the hospital bed. It's like, holy shit. You know? It's like, what the fuck, man? That's a little fucked up, man. Like, like no offense to... Um, pickle boy, but come on, that's a little fucked up. I'm joking at like, if you're having a heart attack, that's not really something to joke about. I mean, I will admit, I joked about some stupid shit, like the like, serious things, like, for example, like oh, like back in 2012 when I was playing with my cousin. Oh my, I lost my arm and I showed him my, my nan and aunt say, hey, don't joke about that. I did, I did, I, I did feel retarded. I will admit, but that's why I don't joke around. With, don't really joke that much anymore. But yeah. Yeah, I'm just sick of that shit. And it pisses viewers off. You know, and it wastes our time too. But yeah. Number 11. This is something we can also all agree on. Low battery at the worst times. Now, like when I want to use my phone or whatever, like we're going on a long trip or whatever. And um, you know, I want to you know, listen to music on my phone. But I can't because the like, battery is about to die or whatever, you know? It's, fuck, you just hate that shit because I forget to charge it. Oh, what's worse when the charger breaks? Oh, I can't stand that shit. You know, I wish someone would invent something that will make batteries last forever, you know? That would be awesome. Yeah, remember the Wheezy 96 mentioned that in his low battery rant? But yeah, that would be awesome. Um, Number 12. Power outages. Oh, that's another thing I can't stand. Um, my recent power outages um we had is um like a few nights ago. Me and my uncle were watching Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, uh, Dog Days. So we're it was like around the top scene where Rally and Greg went on the cranium shaker or whatever, like waiting in line. And yeah, and all of a sudden the power went. I was like, what the fuck? What just happened? And we went outside. And uh, my uncle went outside. I was like, oh shit! All the Hey, the neighbor's lights are off, too. It's like, what the fuck? You know? But, yeah. Just hate power outages. Especially if it's, like, you're at the worst times or whatever. Like, you gotta do something on the internet. Yeah. You know, there's no lights. You can't use a fan. Yeah, any of that shit. You can't use... Watch, you can't watch TV. Go on YouTube. And, yeah. Fuck that shit. You know, reasonings, power outages just happen. And say there's, like, a... Thunderstorm or whatever, the lightning like fucks up. Might hit like a power line or whatever. Yeah. Or the power lines on um, telephone poles break. Yeah. Or what's another thing? Why well, when you turn the fuse box off, but Or if you forget to pay the light bill, that's not good. But yeah, guys, um I think that's all for a video, all I have to say. I know it's not the it's not a great video, but that's just what comes to mind, you know? I'll probably make a part two. You never know. But I'll probably definitely make a things of things I like. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And have a good rest of your nights, everybody.